Hi everyone, Lee Magpie here and today I'm going to do something else Pokemon related and I haven't posted in a minute but um, I've had some trouble, personal problems, I won't get into that really um, but yeah I picked up Beware the other day I took it out the packaging because something was bothering me when I and I didn't have the patience to wait so I've opened it but I've kept the packaging and the packaging is done by a new company who took over and if you can hear a noise in the background it's raining um, which sounds really good so comment down in the comment section if you love the sound of rain because I do um, but yeah on the back of the box it's got um, the Pokemon red and white on the um, it shows you a few figures you can collect and you've got Decidueye, Lapras Ash and Pikachu. Um, I've already got Lapras, so I'm going to do a comparison with Lapras. Um, the, this company has been a bit um, up and down for me because some of the figures have been really good and then some of the figures have been a bit... Mm, tell me it was such a good company when they started doing the skill stars Pokemon figures and they've kind of kept it up now. But um, I'll explain the pros and cons of this figure. Um, but first let me show you the checklist so the checklist has got a few Pokemon on here which I w still like and then some I've seen in the shop and, and they looks better on the checklist but now that I've seen them they're pretty much mm, I don't really like them but this is some of the figures on the back so these are the smaller figures and then these ones are the bigger figures um, Ash and Pikachu they're not articulated neither is Decidueye so these sort of figures um, are the sort of figures what would look well and um, really good on display but just not not for playing purposes and I really want um, is it Metank and that is pretty much it from this lot I've I already got these two already but these ones are the new versions and I just prefer the older versions from Tome and I saw this in the shop and it looked like the arms come out and it looks really heavy and clunky but it still looks really cool for display purposes but yeah that's the checklist I will take a picture of that to see if there's anything you like like I said the company for me uh, this new line for me is a bit up and down and the reason why I'm a bit up, upset about this beware figure is because I thought it was going to be articulated at the legs and at the arms, but the dirt. It's got a really cute little like um, action feature where you could do all that. It's got like the um, hugging action, and it says it there, and it looks like you can fit two figures under the arm. Now that's kind of cool, but the quality of the figure itself feels a bit cheap it's a bit flimsy and for 10 pounds to only do that as an action feature is a bit meh i didn't really i don't really like it um overall though the paintwork the sculpt the scale size of this i love the light and dark pink on his tail and the um he's got a really cute face it's got white, um, I don't know if these are ears or like an headband, but it's like it, it's got cute white ears and it's got a really nice cute ex, um, expression. Um, painted really well and he overall looks really good. Um, but for £10 it kind of feels like a happy, happy meal toy and that's all he can really do. And that, that's why I opened him early because I wanted to see if he could at least move his arms and his legs. But for display purposes, um, for oh, if you wanted to do like a bit of photography or little projects with this, that's great. But I don't think it's worth ten pounds. Uh, overall, I feel like it should have been, like maybe about six pounds. Like maybe the small, the small figures. It feels quite flimsy. So basically, the pros, it looks good for display purposes. Painted really well. Sculpt is really done really well. Um, I love the light pink. I love the contrast with the pink and the black. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. And the sculpt looks really good. Um, the cons is the action feature is quite okay, but there's no art articulation. It doesn't move its legs at all. 
and I just think for a figure for ten pounds, it's not really for me. I'm going to keep it for display purposes. Um, I'm going to show you it in my overall Pokemon's Collectives video, um, which I don't know when that's going to be. And now I'm going to do a size comparison, but this is just a quick 360 of the toy. But yeah, overall it looks really cool. Um, it's got some nice details like the painted his paws there and the painted the underneath there. I love the um, colours with the black and light pink and he's one of my favourite Pokemon in the anime. Um, but yeah, now if you're into display, um, just for display purposes, this Pokemon is well recommended as um, and you don't mind the price so guys, I'm going to quickly do a size comparison and I've got Mega Charizard X with me and I've got Lapras which is from the new line. Um, I've done a video on this Lapras um, figure. It's a really nice figure and this one I really love and you don't really need a lot of articulation. So if you haven't seen it already, check that out on my channel. Um, and I think overall the size comparison looks really good. Um, I do think that um, Beware could be a little bit taller with Charizard, but I still think it looks really good overall. Um, yeah, the only thing is this figure is 50-50 with me. Because the things that I do like about it is, yeah, they've got the likeness really well. Um, it's going to be great for display purposes. And the way it's painted, the way the sculpt is, the likeness. Overall, how it all how it looks is brilliant but the other down but the other downfall is that I haven't got much articulation and I just and it feels a bit cheap and I hate saying that but it does um but overall if you really like this figure the link is gonna be down below I got it from Smith's for ten pounds um I am done with this review um, I will be doing some more Pokemon stuff. I'm going to get maybe two more things to do a review on. And hopefully by then they might have a few more new things out. And I am happy that they're still doing Pokemon stuff. As I really thought that the toy line was falling off the line. <laughs> um, and yeah, so overall I am, a, I am happy-ish. So guys, I am done with this review. I hope you have enjoyed the review and I haven't put you off the toy that much. Um, it's still a quite good toy to get and add to your Pokemon collection. I will be doing some more Pokemon related stuff and I've got a wide range of other toys coming up soon from Harry Potter, Little Loud Pets, um, Star Wars and more Jurassic World. And one more thing before I go as well guys, I'm doing some Sylvanian stuff as well. And I've got um, an Instagram page and it's Liam Magpie. So Liam underscore Magpie. Follow me on my page on Instagram. And I'm going to be posting some cool photography photos with Pokemon. And um, photography with toys and Jurassic World stuff. And I'm going to do some of the pictures for my next videos. What will be coming up. So like some of the thumbnails ready for people to know when I'm going to post my next video and like subscribe to my channel hit the alarm bell and I'll see you on the next one guys bye